What a beautiful weather it is. High tides. It's rained in Mumbai this morning. No rain reminds me in this World Cup season. Uh, you know, Shoaib Bakhtar has tweeted a lovely, funny picture where there's a stadium which is full of water and Indian skipper Virat Kohli and his Pakistani counterpart Sarfaraz Ahmed. Both of them are swimming their way back to the pavilion after the toss, and the match officials are standing in the boats in the middle of water. Let's hope, keeping the fingers crossed, that weather gods and rain gods don't interrupt the most awaited and the mouth-watering clash: India versus Pakistan on 16 June on Sunday. Having said that, yesterday at World Cup, you know, after three. no result matches in 4 days including the india new zealand washout it was heartening to see cricket for a change interrupt the rains <laughs> in a match where a west indian playing for england took on his original uh, countryman it was england taking on the west indies in the match number 19 in the icc cricket world cup unplugged what happened in the match Well that's why I'm here for. Hello and welcome to ICC Cricket World Cup and plugged with me rolling Rajiv Bharadwaj. Now yesterday at World Cup it was a match where which was predicted by a lot of cricket pundits to be a 350 350 a side match or at least a 300 a side match. There were quite a few who said dared to say that it's going to be a 400 a side match. But you know what all of those cricket pundits were wrong. Why? Because it was uh, the English team who uh, won the toss and put the Caribbeans into bat first. Now the Caribbean style of batting till date in the tournament has been more of a T20 kind of a uh, batting style on flat pitches, smaller grounds. But the ground yesterday, Rose Bowl, was quite a bigger ground, which definitely uh, needed the batsmen to apply themselves. There were a lot of twos and threes in for the batsmen, which the Caribbean batsmen actually failed to pick up. Right from the start, in his inimitable style, Chris Gale had a reluctant start opposite the Caribbean-born and very recently cleared to play for England, Jofra Archer, the 19-year-old player. He made quite a few inroads. He beat Chris Gale and the initial uh, Caribbean batsman quite a few times. But Chris Gale, as has been the case, after his reluctant start, he muscled his way to quite a few boundaries before perishing on 36. Even the dangerous Andre Russell uh, got out cheaply. Now, from the West Indian middle order, it was only Shimron Hetmeyer with 39 who gave some kind of support to Nicholas Puran, who top scored for the Caribbeans with 63. And the Caribbeans could only manage 212 runs in 44.5 overs, and they were all out. From the Englishman, it was the uh, Mark Wood and Jofra Archer who bagged three wickets each. Now, it was a small total. It was a paltry chase, but was it an easy one? What do you think? Let's ask the rain gods. Now in the second innings, it was the English team who came into bat minus two of the top four. Jason Roy and uh, skipper Yoin Morgan they were missing. Why? Because no, no, nothing serious. Both of them had limped off the field when West Indies were batting because of a pulled hamstring and a back spasm, which is not serious as has been re- reported. Now that meant that. It was Joe Root who's going to be opening the batting with power time with Johnny Bairstow who has been in his aggressive best. Now it was Joe Root who started briskly and stayed brisk. <laughs> He had a classy 95 run stand with Johnny Bairstow. Both of them milked the West Indian bowling. You know the run chase was quite easy and uh, was made easier by some wavered bowling. by the caribbean bowlers and the englishman to say the least reached home in style very comfortably in 33.1 overs you know it was much shorter of a match than was expected the englishman defeated the west indies by 8 wickets with more than 100 balls to spare doing world of good to the net run rate and joe root for his classy 100 not out and two wickets with the ball was adjusted I deservedly the man of the match India versus Pakistan India versus Pakistan India versus Pakistan Hello come here What crazy or what Uh yeah <laughs> Come on guys 
What more can you expect from a true blue cricket fan and a bhakt of the men in blue, the Indian cricket team? You know, but it's a cricket we love as a sport and praying and hoping that the rain gods please stay away from the Indo Park match on 16th June, Sunday 2019 and hoping and praying for a fully loaded rain free match. There, there should only be one kind of a rain and raining sixes and fours from the Indian batsmen. Well, well, and hoping and praying and fully confident about an Indian victory in style. I enjoyed thoroughly bringing in this tidal match review today. Do let me know how did you like today's review. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I truly cherish and value your feedback. Do like the video and share it as well. And yes, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Yaar. And for more updates on the ICC Cricket World Cup, stay tuned to this very channel, Rajiv Bharat Dwaj 100. For today, this is Rolliking Rajiv Bharat Dwaj saying over and out.